Is this really the best budget tent and why do you think it is? Is it the price or is it the quality? Let's test and review it. The Nature Hike Anger 3 is a pop-up tent. It's automatic and it's great for outdoor. It's a portable folding three-person family tent and it's great for camping or park picnics. Let's pitch the tent and I'll show you what you get inside. I'm so excited about this tent. I even got it in black to match my four-wheel drive. So inside the box you get the storage bag. That bag is actually good quality. The zipper is pretty strong and it's also big enough that you don't have to stretch it when you're putting the tent back in. Inside the storage bag you even get an instructions on how to install it. Of course inside the storage bag you get the tent and then with the tent you get a strap. This strap is great quality and it's very durable. A lot of budget tent that I found doesn't come with straps. When you start unfolding the tent you will find a little bag with the pegs inside it as well as the wind rope. The peg is 10 and the wind rope is 6. The rope is good quality and it's got reflectors which is helpful at night. The pegs are just average but it's got a sharp point in the end. It comes with a ceiling cover and it's really great at night because you can open the ceiling cover and watch the stargaze. It's also used for ventilation and to stop the rain. This is one of the features that I like about the tent. The whole pole comes in two and it's packed in three which you assemble and it's very easy to use. It also comes in a bag and it's also colored black. Now we can set it up and see how the automatic pop-up tent goes. After unfolding the tent you can just grab the top and pull it up and it'll pop up. It's so easy and now you can just grab the side and start pulling them up also. When you start pulling it up make sure you hear the click and you do that for all four sides. The automatic stand is so easy to assemble. It strengthened the elastic compression telescopic aluminium alloy automatic bracket structure and the construction is completed when the bracket is unfolded. The tent feels very strong and sturdy and you can move it around anywhere you like once it's set up. Got five sided ventilation, the tent adopts the opposite design of double doors and double windows plus a large ventilation window at the top to form five sided ventilation. Once you put your tent on the place you want it to be you can start putting the ceiling cover. The ceiling cover just hooks on four corners of the tent. Once you've installed the cover you can start hammering the pegs. What I notice is that at the end of the pole there's a plastic clip where you can put the hole through with the peg which is a lot stronger than having a rope. After hammering the pegs on all four corners, you can now set up your hall pole. The hall pole has some mechanism inside which is like a spring which makes it easy to install together. You can now peg the rope on the ground and then tie it on the pole. The large hall design is so good. The spacious front hall design with the front and rear doors greatly increases the activity space for the sunshade and rainproof. So you don't get the extra two poles for the other side so you have to kind of bring your own. So what I normally do is fold the windows at the back so that the breeze can come through. It has two hook straps to stop it from going down.
inside the tent there's plastic hooks where you can put lights and so that's how you set up the tent After an awesome night inside the tent, it was time to review it. The time that we were camping is during autumn, which is just coming off summer and it's not as hot and it's not as cold. So we had one window open, which was the front hall and the breeze was coming through and it was nice and cool. So during the night, it wasn't cold at all and it had a nice breeze when the windows are all closed it's nice and dark inside so outside the tent there was a bit of water from the night but inside there was no condensations this tent would be ideal for summer autumn and spring but yet i would have to try to see how cold it would be during winter I don't think this is even a budget tent because of the quality. It's made of 210 thread polyester fabric. It's waterproof 2000 millimeters, thick and durable. The bold aluminium alloy bracket and the elastically retractable glass drill rod make the whole tent more stable. The zipper is double stitched and very sealed and looks very waterproof. The zipper is very strong because my son pulled it up and down so many times and it just didn't break. The pulling rope on the zipper is also reflective. The round hook for the ceiling cover looks very strong. It has a strap stitched on the tent to hold the doors. It's even got phone holders for both ends of the tent. The fly fabric for the windows feels like great quality and so is the hook. This is the strap to hold the windows. So all five ventilation has the fly cover as well as the rain cover. And that's the other hook for the outside windows. So this is the elastic compression which is the mechanism for the pop-up tent you just have to squeeze it together to unpack the tent and this is the automatic bracket structure and i really love the logo on the side nature hike outdoors this assembling is so easy and it can be done in seconds I'm super happy about this tent and it comes in army green, black or beige in color. I recommend this for a family of three or four with small children. I think that this is one of the best budget tent and it's affordable and it's great quality. For only 149 Australian dollars it's such a great buy. Comment below on what your thoughts are about the tent. The tent dries very quick and it's very easy to pack. It's not like those canvas tent where you have to wait till it dries and it takes so long. It also stops molds from accumulating. You can buy this at natureexplore.com.au If you want to see this tent in action, check out my next video which is Patonga Beach Camping Trip. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.